Hi guys, before you start this video, I just kind of want to explain what's going on. So, this is May 2020. I recorded this video back in November of 2019. My kids had lice. They, this was the second time that they had lice. The first time was in May of 2019. During that first time that they had it in May, I had decided that I wanted to make a video about lice and basically what works for me and my family because I really noticed that a lot of the reviews online seemed to be like paid reviews. I just felt like none of it was actually like a real review. So that's what I wanted to do. I was going to make a video where I was just sitting there and talking to y'all, but when they got lice again in November, I kind of decided, you know what, let me just like record it as I'm going. So that's why this video is kind of like <clears throat> a vlog style. And I'm also going to be kind of popping in here and there just to say whatever I missed or explain things a little bit better um, because I really do want this video to be helpful for y'all. But that's it. I hope y'all enjoy. friends so I'm about to lose my mind I actually wanted to do this video like not right now like at another time but sometimes you know something happens and it makes you change your mind and last night that something happened and I changed my mind it's currently like seven o'clock in the morning the day before Thanksgiving, of course. So I'm off work today. This is a burn. Doesn't it look like gnarly? What had happened was I was draining mac and cheese and the water like went down my hand. As you can see, it's like how water falls. <laughs> water falls. Anyways, okay. This video is going to be about lice. I'm back in like May or June. No, it, was, it definitely was May. Yeah, they got it from a daycare that they attended. Last time we treated it, first I used NYX. You put it in their hair, let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, and then wash it out. I know it worked because when I used it, when I was combing, I was combing out dead lice out of their hair. It's disgusting, I know. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. NYX, it definitely worked, but they came back. So, after using NYX, I used, like, the spray, sprayed down my whole house and everything. And they still came back. I don't remember how long it took them to come back, but they did come back. And when they came back, I was ready to, like, die because... I actually found out they came back on myself because my head was itching one day and I just took a lice comb. I didn't put anything in my hair. I just took a lice comb and just like started combing where it itched and I actually pulled out a wiggling one, which is disgusting. My opinion with NYX, I think that it, it definitely kills lice that are alive. It definitely works on them. Yeah, my opinion is that NYX does not kill the eggs. I know that they say they do, but I don't think they actually do. So. After NYX didn't work or they came back or whatever, one of my aunts actually messaged me on Facebook and she told me that the only thing that worked for her when her kids had it was something called Lice Free and it has three E's, Lice Free Spray. So I went to the store and got that. I think it's about eight or nine dollars for one bottle, which one bottle, I'll let y'all know when I do it because I don't really remember. I don't remember if I used like a half a bottle of myself or a whole bottle. I think for myself... I used a whole bottle, but for definitely my son only needs a couple squirts because he has short hair. My daughter, her hair probably needs a whole bottle because she has a very thick and curly hair and it's hard to get it all in there. I had used the Lice Free Spray and that knocked all of them out and they did not come back. Let me tell y'all how it happened this time. So nobody had been like scratching their head I had just been looking I always ever since the first time my kids have like had lice I always just kind of look in their hair periodically just to see I was looking and I was looking through my daughter daughter's hair and I found a knit and a knit is the egg that lice lay to make more lice I found a knit in her hair right there's two different colors of knits there is 
white knits and brown knits. White knits are eggs that have already hatched, but they don't come off of your hair. They it's like the lice like use like a little super glue to glue the knit to your hair so it doesn't fall off. So the white knits have already hatched. The brown knits, on the other hand, are the babies still in the egg. So when I was looking through her hair, I found a white knit. And mind you, I told you that's already hatched. This knit was really far down her hair strand. I only found one. So I'm over here thinking, okay, this knit was probably just from last time she had lice. I probably just didn't comb this out. It's super far down the hair strand. They like to be closer to the head for the heat. And this was like probably like four or five inches maybe even more down her hair strand six inches maybe so I'm like there's no way so I didn't freak out about it but then my head started itching I'm like okay yeah something's not right so I last night I asked my boyfriend to check my hair and he took this picture I'll put it in right here the picture I had of my actual the knit in my actual hair somehow got deleted I have gotten a new phone since I recorded this video but I went to google and I found some pictures so these pictures I'm about to post are not of me but they do show you an example of what a brown knit looks like and a white knit looks like And he was like, what is that? I said, I don't know. Pull the piece of hair out. He pulled the strand out. Sure enough, it was another knit. And this one was brown, so it was definitely a fresh knit where the baby's still in there. So I took that strand of hair, lit it on fire. That was undramatic because this doesn't even work. But I took it, I lit it on fire, I flushed it down the toilet. Another tip that I just thought about real quick, with the knits, you can tell if it's a knit or not by if you can get it off of your hair strand or not. You could have a dandruff flake that looks very similar to what a knit looks like, but if you can if you can blow and that dandruff flake will blow off or if it'll move at all, it's dandruff or something else in your hair. But the knit is stuck to your hair in the spot, so you cannot blow it and it and it'll move it won't do that and it looks kind of like a growth on your hair if that makes sense like it's so stuck to your hair it looks like just like a growth I don't know if that makes sense but you'll see the pictures so that's where we're at then last night I went to Walmart and they did not have any lice products at all not one not anything literally so it must be going around in the city that I live in then I went to the Walmart in the next town over. They did have some, not a whole lot, but they had enough. So I got three bottles of the Lice Free Spray. Also got us all new hairbrushes for when this is all over because I ain't got the time to be cleaning out these hairbrushes. So you can clean out your hairbrushes. I'm gonna put like the exact directions in somewhere, probably in picture form. So if you wanna read it, you can pause to read it whenever I put that in. <laughs> I did to clean out my hairbrushes the first time I uh, got just hot water and I just soaked my hairbrushes in it for a long amount of time I don't remember the exact time like I said I'm gonna put that written somewhere so you can pause to read that you can save your hairbrushes you don't have to throw them all out and start over that's just what I decided to do because I was being lazy right now I'm in the process I'll show you now I'm in the process of stripping my bed excuse my mess Got to put all of this in the washing machine. You're going to want to wash and dry in the hottest heat that there is to kill any lice or any eggs that are on your bedding. So I'm going to do mine and my kids. For everything that you can't put in the washing machine, you can actually use the lice free spray that you use on your hair. Spray that on mattresses and couches, chairs, stuff like that. You're going to want to get all stuffed animals, put them in a trash bag, tie it up for at least a week. You don't have to go through and throw them out. You can put them in the dryer and do it that way. But I would just, on the safe side, I would just recommend bagging them all up. 
putting them somewhere for a week and then getting them back out because lice cannot live without your blood, without your like scalp blood. They can't live without that after a week. So actually I was wrong on this part. They die after 24 hours from being away from the head but the week is what gives any nits that there may be it gives them time to hatch and die as well um that's why you want to keep stuff put up for a week and not just 24 hours i would also get any barbie dolls or like dolls period that have like the hair i would get them and bag them up also okay hi friends i stripped all of my bedding down it's in the washing machine right now and now I'm going to get started on my hair. So this is what I'm going to use. It's called Lice Free Spray. Kills super lice and eggs. Spray dry done. Pretty much what you do is just spray it all over your head. And you let it dry on its own. That is a big thing. I'm going to show you everything it comes with. It comes with this. This is a bottle of stuff that you squirt on your hair. Um, this is this little squirter thing. This brand also has like a shampoo and a gel. I've never used that. I've only used the spray and I know that the spray works really good. So it also comes with a lice comb. These also work very well, but I won't be using this until after the stuff dries in my head and I wash my hair. It says that the active ingredient is natural marinter. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, it says HPUS. The letters HPUS indicate that the component in this product is officially monographed in the homeopathic pharmacopoeia of the United States. So it's homeopathic. Another thing I forgot to mention with using NYX, it really irritated my daughter's scalp, and that's why I'm just so apprehensive to use it again. And, and you also you you can't use it just whenever you have to wait a certain amount of time before doing a second treatment but with lice free their their formula is so like not harsh that, that you can do it really like whenever like i could do a lice treatment a day i wouldn't but i'm just saying that's just how their formula is made um but with nyx my daughter's like it was really on her neck like the back of her neck where her hair would like hit it got really red and it was actually kind of like warm to touch and like rashy so the chemicals that nyx uses is just very very harsh my kids doctor also recommended the lice free spray to me she said it's really good to use on kids as well because of the same reason the naturalness it's not a harsh chemical that you're putting into your child's head the uses for the treatment of head lice pubic lice crabs or body lice ask the doctor before use if you have infestation on the eyebrows or eyelashes Whew, this is a time that i'm glad i don't have my lashes done when using this product don't use near the eyes don't use in contact with mucous membranes such as inside the nose mouth or vagina as irritation or stinging may occur tingling may occur during the first 10 minutes of application this is normal and it should go away if it does not rinse hair immediately and discontinue use well all right directions adults and children six months and older shake well hold bottle four to six inches from head spray on dry hair that's another big thing don't wash your hair and then put this stuff in it has to be on dry hair your hair has to be completely dry Spray spray on dry hair and entire scalp starting at the hairline and working inward towards the crown. So I guess I'll start here and go up. Which I didn't know that I was supposed to do that so I'm glad I read it. Thoroughly saturate all hair and scalp. To be effective all lice and nits must come in full contact with the product. So just soak your head basically. For best results allow product to air dry naturally do not rinse out. And that's honestly what my doctor said too. She said that a lot of people say that this stuff doesn't work, but it's just because they're not doing it right. She said a lot of times people won't let it dry completely because they don't like the smell. This stuff smells like black licorice. But she said a lot of times people will wash it out before the treatment's actually done. And that's why it doesn't work for them. 
Dead lice and nits may be removed with a fine tooth comb if desired. This is the only product that you actually do not have to comb out the dead things because they're actually all the way dead. And that's a thing with NYX. Like I said, they say they kill the eggs, but my conspiracy is that they don't because they're so adamant about you combing everything out and that's how you get rid of the eggs is you comb all the eggs out so they can't um, hatch. But this product, it doesn't say that you even have to do that because they're so confident in their self look. I feel like an ad. Can Life's Free please sponsor me? I need a new car. They're so confident in their product that it's gonna work that you actually don't even have to comb out the dead nits, which I'm still going to because I don't want that in my head or my kids' heads. But you don't have to, is my whole point. Once hair has dried completely, you may resume normal grooming habits, i.e. wash hair and style. Product may be used as often as desired. Washing hair regularly is recommended to avoid product buildup. That's another thing. This may be used as often as you want it to, which is another thing I like. For body and crab life, spray on affected areas and let it dry. That's about it. All right, so let's get started because I'm going to kill these lice. Die. Okay, so you just open it up. It has a little lift and peel thing like some dang food. You peel it. Smell, it, it's not the worst smell, but it does smell like black licorice. So I recommend doing this on a day that you don't have plans. So it said to start on the edge and go to the crown. All right. Killing all y'all things. And I think they want you to do it this way because if you start, oh, I have a bobby pin in my hair. If you start at the crown, all the little licey poos will just run away. And you got to make sure you get all of this hair. You also want to make sure you get around your ears and like the back of your neck really good because that is a place that they like to hide. So honestly, I'll probably use this entire bottle on myself just so I know that I'm good. And I like to just soak my entire head in this stuff like I'm taking a bath in it. My itchiest spot is in the back of my head. So that's where I'm really focusing on. Because I feel like that's where they have um, set up camp. I'm also going to go through and part just to make sure that all these areas have gotten covered. After this, uh, when I do wash it out, I'm going to blow dry mine and my daughter's hair. And I'm going to go through with a hair straightener also and straighten all of our hair after this. Because... The heat also kills the lice in the nits. My trigger finger's starting to hurt. And you're gonna smell like some black licorice, but it's only until it dries and then you can wash it out. So it's not that bad. The NYX stuff on the other hand, makes your hair extremely, extremely greasy for days. Like I had to wash my hair with Dawn dish soap because my hair was so greasy. That's the only thing that would cut through it. I feel okay doing this with no gloves because it's basically just salt water. All right. Rest of this, I'm just going to pour into my scalp. Because, yeah. I'm not wasting none of this. Where it's really bad and really itching me is where I'm going to focus. All right, bottle one, done. Now, I'm just gonna put my hair up, let it saturate, let it sit, let it marinate. And this is how I usually do it. I usually just put it in a bun and sit there and let it, let it do its job. I'm gonna use one of these towels and clean up all of the spray. Hi, baby, good morning. 
My baby just woke up. Now I'm gonna start on her hair and I'll record what I can. And they just uh -oh. <laughs> it's in the sea. It's okay. I don't want to take that. What what went in the sink? Your butt. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> she raised the piece off. What? I'm talking to Dad. Y'all see her hair is super curly and thick. So she'll definitely need a full bottle. Da 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 di da di da. My mommy's awake, awake. I am awake, awake, awake. <laughs> mommy made the video. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think of a song. Alright. You ready? <laughs> My brother's still asleep. He is. Can look up a little bit for me, boo? <laughs> have a, like a NYX spray also to like use on like your beds and stuff but I'm just gonna use the lice free well actually I'll probably use the lice free spray on the couch and the NYX stuff in my room because the NYX stuff is like toxic I don't want to use it on the, where the, my kids are at so I'll just spray I'm gonna spray this stuff on the couch it's the same stuff we sprayed in our hair I guess I'll be back when I start. Well, it's going to be a couple hours because this has to dry completely. And my hair is still wet to the touch. Um, my daughter's hair is the same way. My son's hair won't take that long. feels like, it, it just feels like sea salt. Like if you've ever been swimming in the ocean or anything, it kind of gives your hair like that hard. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm like moving it. It's kind of like that hard texture. Um, when it dries, it'll just like... It won't be hard, hard, but it, like you can probably kind of see what I'm talking about right here. And it also brings my curls out a lot. I would use this to style my hair, you know, lice free, yes. <laughs> if they could make like just like a sea salt spray, I would so use that because it really brings my curls out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to say as positive as possible. I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, girl, you really can't catch a break, can you? And I'm like, no. I'm just trying to look at it like this is my trial period in life. Once I push through and push past all this with positive energy, I will be blessed and rewarded as I already am. I'm very blessed right now. The fact that I can even speak about being blessed while having a lice treatment in my head, that speaks volumes of my growth. Hey y'all, it is now... 6.30. Just wanted to give y'all an update. I have not washed my hair yet. This stuff has been in my hair all day. It is pretty dry now. This is what it looks like. I took my hair down so that the rest would dry the rest of the parts that were in the bun. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like right now with the treatment still in it. It, it still looks kind of wet, but it's just that formula they have, that sea salt or the salt, whatever. Hey! This okay, is not a picture. It's a video. Look, this is what her hair is looking like right now. It's just super nah, duper nah, curly nah, 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 nah. and it has the stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Talk to y'all after we wash our hair. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so my son just had a bath. So we're gonna just comb through his hair first. Come on. I'm gonna wait to do my daughter in a minute because it is going to be a journey doing her hair. His is short and easy, and I don't even think that he had it. So. One thing I wanted to put in here, it was just kind of hard to get a video of because I needed both my hands to comb. When you're combing out the lice, you're needing to go from all directions. So say this is the comb and this is the hair. You're gonna wanna comb from the front down, clean out the comb, make sure nothing's on it. The back, clean out the comb. Side, clean out, side, clean out because the lice can be stuck to any different area of your hair and I would even maybe go diagonal just all uh, of all angles and you're going to want to start from the top and go all the way down to my hair is it lice no I'm just playing um but really though oh it's a fuzzball so yeah I hope that helps This part is really just a disclaimer for me. I don't want nobody to come at me crazy um, for straightening my daughter's hair. I do not condone putting heat on kids' hair. I don't condone putting anything in kids' hair until they're old enough because I don't want to damage her hair. The only reason I blow dried and straightened her hair was to have that extra level of the heat protection from the lice, which is the same reason why I straightened my own hair and I put the straightener on my son's hair as well. Don't worry about it. Her curls are still beautiful. Here is a picture of her. I'll also put in a picture of what her hair looked like after we straightened it because it was super cute. But my baby girl loves her curls. We embrace her curls the first and the only time that I have ever straightened her hair and will ever straighten her hair. Basically, I never made an outro. The outro, I guess, was my daughter saying bye. So that was pretty much it. They didn't come back after that. We were good. The lice free spray worked perfectly. What you can do is you can retreat a week later just for that extra protection to know that if somehow a knit lived and they hatched, you can kill them before it gets bad again. But I did not retreat after the first time and they didn't come back. We are all clear, we are good. Like I said, it is now May of 2020 and this was in November of 2019 and we haven't had issues since using the Lice Free Spray. So yeah, Lice Free, if you ever see this and you wanna send me a check for a promotion, hit me up. But honestly, their product is the best in my personal opinion and my experience that is the only thing that really worked for us so i guess that's it bye good luck i hope that this helped i hope you enjoyed it um and i'll see y'all next time <laughs>